Rodney Clark can change a game. Nothing can get this Razorback crowd going faster than a Clark three. I've worked so hard to get to the point to where I am that I expect you know, every shot to go in. I've, wor I've worked that hard. That's how much work I've put into it. So I expect every one of them to go in. He's experienced an incredible amount of success here. Clark, that's a three. Because he puts the time in here. I've always been energetic. I've always you know, been on the go anywhere I've ever wanted to go. Just I think it's devel developed to a work, work ethic for me, and it's, uh, it's been good for me. What Clark has is more than just a work ethic. He's a basketball net's worst nightmare. Shooting three to 500 shots most days in season, and the out of season shooting workouts range in the thousands. Just a prove wrong attitude. Like, I, I love pe proving people wrong because I've always been doubted, you know, whether it's my height or, you know, whatever it is. And it's, uh, it's really helped me in motivation and developing my work ethic and try, trying to be the best I can be. Everybody said he was never good enough. He was too short, wasn't fast enough. Most people think it's crazy, but every time people would say that, we get the clippings telling what people said. I, you know, read whatever I could get. Like, I, I told my parents, I told my coach at that time, you know, print off whatever you can get for me. Anyone, anyone saying negative about me. And I fed on those things every day. Pulled off the internet one time, how everybody was just totally dogging him. Flipped him out. He was in the gym uh, nine hours straight shooting one day. And he and hurt his shoulder because he was so flipped out over that. He wanted to prove people wrong. I had never seen anything like it. Just his desire to shoot a basketball. Rodney's dad, Conley Clark, now a shooting instructor at the All-Star Sports Complex in Springdale, helped Rodney with the basics to prove the doubters wrong by giving his son the tools to put points on the scoreboard. He had no idea what he was signing up for. He'd get me up at 5.30 every morning, and we go make 500. And then he'd go back, take a shower, go to school. After practice, I would be there. We'd shoot another 500, go home, eat and then come back and shoot another 500. He didn't have a life. It was church and, and basketball. Basketball is really, you know, like you said, we have a common interest in that. And, and I know he's not, he's not only, you know, proud of me for basketball, but he's proud of me for the person I am. And that's, you know, that's, that's a tribute to my parents. And, you know, they've made me the person I am today. And that included instituting a passion for basketball at a young age, a very young age. When he was one, one and a half at Christmas, we bought him a Fisher Price goal and the very, first night, I, I, he got, had gotten out of his bed at, uh, it was, I think it was around 2, 2.30. He was up shooting with the lights off on that goal. My wife said, go make him get in bed, and I said, no way. The desire to dribble continued for Rodney at a young age, though his willingness to share the ball developed a little later. As a fourth grader, you know, my parents always joke about how, you know, I was taking every shot. I was, I never passed the ball when I was little in the little elementary leagues or whatever I was playing. The long hours of training paid off as Clark went on to be the most dominant force in Oklahoma high school basketball history, becoming the first player to ever receive the state's MVP award three years in a row. But that's not surprising when you average 20 a game in my freshman year in high school. I think it was like 30, 34 in my sophomore year. In my junior year, I got, I think it was 37. My senior year, I averaged 40. Ended up, you know, set, setting the Oklahoma high school scoring record, which was, which is a really, really cool accomplishment. That accomplishment caught the attention of then Arkansas basketball coach Stan Heath, who made the trip to Vertigris and extended a three-point challenge. Stan was pretty impressed. He said, well, let's just see his shot. Let's just shoot 100. He made 96 out of 100. While Clark admits the lack of defenders helped his chances then, he's still making shots at an unbelievable rate this season for the Razorbacks, including in his first game of his sophomore year when he scored 51 points against Alcorn State, breaking the Southeastern Conference's record with 13 three-pointers in a single game. I've never felt anything like that before on, a, on the court, and it just felt like, you know, it just felt like, like I told you, God is just working through me. It wasn't even... No, it wasn't even me. Just, you know, I know I've been blessed with the ability to shoot, but um, it's just an unbelievable feeling. Which is more along the lines of what Rodney would like to do when he's done shooting. Every chance I get, I'm giving God the glory, no matter what it is, no matter what time. I'm going to try probably to get into ministry at some point. I've done a lot of speaking, you know, opportunities, share my testimony a lot of places. I, I feel like I'm put here on, on earth to play basketball for a reason and I'm using this as a platform, but uh, I hope to be able to play at the next level at some, whether it's uh, you know overseas or if I have a chance to play in the NBA, that'd be awesome. But that doesn't work out as fine. I mean, I'm just gonna, 
you know, whatever I'm doing, I'm going to be trying to glorify the Lord in whatever I'm doing anyways. But for now, Rodney sticks with shooting. Three to 500 shots a night, motivated by the people that say he can't, so that when the lights are flashing, he can.